Hi, I'm Chuck, KK6US wife for Ham Radio Ventures. And uh, today I'm gonna look at my FT60. I'm gonna go through the function buttons and show you what each one does. And then also I will show you how to program a repeater into it. So hopefully this will be help for, helpful for somebody. And uh, I know it will be for me. I can re we'll go back to it and uh, refresh my memory. I don't use my HTs that often. And uh, sometimes I forget how to do it, how to set it. And I, I do think you should be able to set them from the front of the radio. So let's get on with the show. On your, on your phone, you can put in uh, repeater book. And this is what I've done is I've picked this W6CX repeater. And it tells all the information you need to know to set this into your programs in your HT. So the first part is, is it is. Um, so we got two meter. The frequency is 147. 060. The offset is a plus six megahertz, so it's 147.660. Uh, FM is it's an FM repeater. You set your um, setting here at 100 hertz. Eight C's. Um, it, it's also on Echolinks, Aries, Racies. It's e-powered. It's t about about 22 miles from my house. It's on uh, Mount Diablo, which is a pretty high peak in the area. Okay, um, what I'm going to show you here is just how you get into each of the settings on this radio. This is an FT60, very very well respected radio. A lot of people have them. Um, very rugged. So to get in, so to get into the different uh, parts of this radio to set things up, you have to push this FW key right here. So if we push that, and now we push squelch type, number one, and then we can go from tone to different fittings, depending on what your repeater needs. And then to set that, you push the button again, and it now it's, it's set on tone. So then we push it again, we push number two, which is code, and there's your 100 megahertz. I showed you that earlier, and if you just twist the, uh, the button here, it goes back and forth. So the repeater that I showed you in repeater book takes 100, so now we're going to push the FW, and now that's set. Okay, for the next one is three. And that's power. So there's high, medium, low, and back to high. And then you to set it, push the FW button again. And it just everything you do with this, you push the button, and then it's repeat off plus, minus, and back to repeat off again. And that's where I was set at. Now I always forget all these things and this <laughs> this is gonna be a good video for me to store so I can remember how to use this radio. I'm, I don't use a lot the HTs a lot, so I'm not really, really good at setting things, but uh, this last weekend I actually was able to figure it out. So. So let's try another one. So and that's the best. It says bell off. And here's all your settings. And back to off. Hit the FW again. And that sets whatever you had set in there. So again. This is a good one. That locks it. That was button number six, and that locks your radio. So now if I turn this, it doesn't do anything. Okay. 
So to get it out of lock, you do the same thing in reverse. And now I can change things. There we go. So we do it again on, on seven here. And this is pager off, it looks like. On, back to off, set it. The FW button again to set it. I mean, that's always intimidated me with these little handy dockies, and they're, they're really not that hard to set uh, for your repeaters. And I really do believe you can do all this stuff on a computer usually, but I really do think that uh, you should know how to at least find it, find that with the settings to be able to set something just in case you're out someplace and you don't have a computer handy and you just need to get into something. All right, let's program a, uh, a repeater into this. So I've picked one here. And uh, the first thing we're going to do is we are going to push the um vm button to get it into okay we don't want memory we want uh vfo mode okay so now we're going to twist this we want 147090 we can do it this way one four seven oh nine oh okay so I just, I use the keys there. Okay, the next, okay, we'll get this back on. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to, uh, we enter the frequency, we're going to push the FW key. And we're going to set it to tone. So, and we're going to push one, squatch type. It's already on tone, so we'll turn it back. Now we push the button to set it. Okay, now we're going to push the FW, push 2. Okay, we're in the PL tones, and our PL tone for this one's 114.8, so we dial to that. 114.8, push the button. Okay, that's set. Now, to program into memory, we're going to press and hold the FW button. And it shows us number 14 is the next available um, position that you can put a memory in. So we, what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, go ahead and push the FW. Ah, so you need to do it faster. Let me do it again. Now push it. So now it's in the memory. So now if we go to the memory mode, there it is. I don't even think I can hit this one, but uh, the office offset and everything will be there. So it's pretty simple. Okay, I'm gonna put a short clip in here to show you the importance of your antenna. Um, I'm gonna show you with uh, a little better than average rubber ducky, and then I'm gonna change it to the Antenna that I made, the, the uh, roll-up J-pole uh, designed by Dr. Fong, and then just show you the difference that an antenna can make. So check that out, and hopefully you stayed this long. Okay, there's the uh, homemade uh, two-meter antenna at Fong, Dr. Fong uh, antenna, and I'll show you a little area. I'll show you a little video of how well it does versus the rubber ducky. That fourth Wednesday of each month. I don't know if you can see this, but it shows uh, three so, uh, bars PM. with so a little like better than normal antenna. Maybe, uh, it's a repeater in Auburn from where I'm at. It's a bit more quite a few miles up and over a bunch of mountains. And, uh, now I hook this up to a uh, Ed Fong. This is actually doing pretty good outside. So let's just see what it does. Okay, now... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven bars now. I think I'm gonna name 
name my next dog. Um, so plenty of improvement. It's about Kirk twenty Rose. feet um, <laughs> outside. So it was outside to outside. Anyway, uh, we'll let it go to the next. Definitely person. worth putting on. I've rambled long enough. Uh, let's figure out. Okay, I think that was pretty easy. Um, the FT60 is a great little radio, uh, very rugged. So hopefully you got something out of this video today. And uh, if you did, hit that like button. And if you did, uh, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button and hit the bell, hit all, so you'll get all my future videos. So this is Chuck, KK6US Wife for Ham Radio Ventures. Thanks for being here. Thanks for spending your time with me again. And uh, 73 all, we'll catch you on the on the air.